Hello guys, welcome to our channel, at Zimwatch TV, the channel that covers Zim news and stories across the globe. Please subscribe and like for more updates. The US consulate in Zimbabwe has said the Southern African nation and its kin are not authorized and never were. In a proclamation gave this Monday, the 13th of May, the US government office said the 11 Zimbabwean people and three elements assigned by President Biden's organization under the Worldwide Magnitsky Common Liberties Responsibility Act are answerable for progressing debasement and denials of basic freedoms. It said, the nation of Zimbabwe and its kin are not authorized and never were. The US government assigned 11 people and three elements who are as of late answerable for empowering serious defilement and gross denials of basic liberties in Zimbabwe. President Biden confirmed that the Worldwide Magnitsky Common Liberties Responsibility Act GLOMAG, is the proper assents program to address our interests in regards to basic freedoms and defilement in Zimbabwe. We have honed and pulled together our methodology. GLOMAG explicitly targets late and progressing conduct, ways of behaving that are not segregated occurrences, yet rather show an example of exemption. The 11 people are President Emerson Manungagwa, First Woman Auxilia Manungagwa, VP Constantino Chuenga, Safeguard Clergyman Opa Muchingari, Police Magistrate Godwin Matanga and his agent Stephen Mutamba, Walter Tapfumanei, Owen Cube, Kuda Tagore, and his significant other Sandra Mpunga, and submit to Chamuka. The three substances on the authorizations list are Secunda Possessions, Fossil Agro, and Fossil Contracting, connected to Tagore and Chamuka.